Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, and of course, every variation in between. I'm Lothans, welcome back to the channel. We're checking out Ostrov Alpha 4 still, because we didn't really get that far, let's be honest. In our hour or so playtime, we chopped up about an hour's worth of video for the first episode that came out, uh, I don't know, sometime early this morning when I was asleep. We got to dive back in because we got a whole bunch of other stuff that we have not seen yet. I mean, we are, obviously we saw the awesome new houses with their own private gardens over here. And we, we kind of took a peek at the cart shed, which has not built yet. It's coming up after the farm. And actually, first thing I'm going to do is bring our granary over here and unpause it. So welcome back. Let's dive right in. Let's unpause this bad boy. And let uh, let our what two <laughs> our two builders work on this farm because we're we're short we're short on folks and if you watched the previous episode you know why due to the new houses the new uh, animation the new uh, the new build animations the new construction animation it takes a lot longer than it used to to make one house even these ones without a garden that are over here sort of closer to the center of town and I was not prepared for that but you you know that's why you play the game you learn the new things with the new uh, the new update so we just want to let the guys and gals of our colony kind of have at it All right, we got another boat showing up here so we can have another guy fishing we absolutely need oh wait he is oh we have two boats now okay good so let's see now we don't have a worker here we're actually gonna have to bring it down to one guy doing construction <laughs> you, you just have to when, when, when your colony is under this much strain as far as population goes and actually going back to what i said i kind of get distracted the reason we're struggling so bad right now is i couldn't get nine houses built in time and I think it's because I built the smithy before I started building any houses like I normally would do in all the previous iterations of the game. But that took I think that pushed us a little bit over time and we couldn't get everybody in. So we had eight families instead of the nine that we should have right now. So we are short. We're trying to get some fish in. And we have some fish right now. So the first thing we're going to do... In, in two of our market locations is we're going to start selling fish because we have to get more people in and to do that we must um, we must sell food so there's one right there let's see if that's I don't know maybe she has to actually put it up for sale has to go get it before it triggers that we have food for sale we'll we'll find out but we have two workers now selling fish this market stall and this market stall so they're gonna have to come down here and get the fish out of here and we only have 19 <laughs> so uh, that's a bit of a problem so she's coming right now she's coming right now to get some of these fish But now instead of one fisherman, we have two. We actually have a guy over here building a the third boat. Then we can actually take him out because the boats aren't going to take that much damage in the first year. Or two years, actually. We're slowly, very, very slowly working on this farm over here. We need 570 more thatch. We have plenty of thatch here. So we just need this guy to, to get out there and grab it. Make one more cart load, and he'll be he'll be squared away. That's fine. But now we have uh, we have fish for sale. People are buying it, so oh, not enough food for sale still. Oh man, maybe we need more fish to be in the markets. Maybe. So, but once we get this third boat built, boat built, boat built boat. We can fire this guy and just hire him over here at the fishing dock. And then we'll, we'll still just have one guy building things. 
but then hopefully we'll be bringing in enough fish to sell at the marketplace that we'll get another family. Oh, that'll change everything. That will change everything. Of course, these guys have their own little little gardens, and these two have, have planted their garden. It's like some cabbages and maybe some carrots. These guys have you know, carrots and cabbages. Nothing but cabbages. And, and Oh, these guys planted this area. They just had whatever this is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. It'd be cool if it was like grapes and they can make their own wine. That would be awesome. And he is going to get some more resources. He should have enough right now. No, yeah, he, he has all the wood that he needs. Okay, yeah, so he's building a boat now after he takes a rest. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and give the fishing guys and the boat builder guy a bench. They need a place to relax too, you know. Just outside their workplace. That'll be good and good. We've got benches all over the place for everybody else, but not those guys. So that's good. I'm uh, I'm very pleased. All resources were re wow. All resources have been collected for the farm. So this guy's actually going to start building it now. And apparently the farm has a new animation for being constructed as well. So we're going to take some time and check that out here. Actually, we're going to make sure, let's see, does he have his boat built? Yes, so you are fired and you are rehired over here at some point. Whenever you decide you want to be hired. <laughs> we're going to check out uh, Jedediah here. Uh, my apologies. Taras, Taras, Teres. Prikodko, Prikodko, yeah. I'm sure I'm slaughtering all of these names and I apologize I am not from that region of the world so I uh, I have no experience with these sorts of pronunciations okay you have to forgive me but it's good fun trying it is good fun trying I'm gonna call him Jedediah because I can say that and it makes sense to me so I see they they have changed sort of the foundation of the buildings they have. And that's good. I like that. How's the fishing dock doing? Still just two people. Oh. They don't have a third boat yet. Now wait a minute. I thought he built the boat. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. But it looks like it's uh, rest time for Jedediah. Oh, we gave these guys benches, didn't we? Two of them. We only gave two of them benches. So let's give everybody their own, their own personal bench. Out here by their, uh, by their entry. Yeah, that's only fair, right? That's only fair. Everybody gets a bench to sit on and, and relax on hard day's work and this guy he is a mod look at this guy he is trucking along building this entire farm all by himself oh and a new family settling in our town let's check it out they're gonna be right here the Olinich family Olinich Olinich I don't know but they're coming in and they're coming from way over here but that's gonna be great that's gonna fill in where we can add a guy here so he's what is he doing he's going to work but there's nothing ordered now do they have all three yeah they have all three so we're gonna get you out of there put another guy here and a third fisherman and that should be our two extra guys okay so they had their their family member I guess bring him over some some distant relation some third cousin or something brought him over by cart dropped them off and here they are so, Oleski, Olesk, Olek, Olek C, Oleksi, and Maria, I can say that one, have two children, Ivan and uh, that 
that child right there, that, that toddler right there. <laughs> and, uh, and they're going to go to work. So he's in the construction business. We have three fishermen now, which is amazing. So now that we have enough, quote unquote, enough food for sale, we can actually start to plan out some more housing, which is great. We definitely need it. Um, I think we'll just keep going over here. This would be like the housing area. And maybe over here is going to be the farming area. I don't know. What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and plan. One of, these guys are so much fun. I want to plan these all the time. These, far, these uh, garden houses. And I can hold, what is it? Uh, disable, left alt, disable snapping. So I can bring it over here, press F1. Nope. Ah, I can't press F1. I can't hold alt and press F1 at the same time. That is a problem. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. I But we can just do this. We can go, okay. Bring you over to the path. Perfect. Okay, and then you... You perhaps want to live back here. Up here? Back here. Yeah. There you go. There's another one. So that'll be good. We almost have the farm going. We got two guys working now. And it looks like the thatch is going up. Yeah, this is much different than it used to be for sure. I mean, it has the same general shape. But obviously, it's a, it's a different... Uh, you know, things go in in a different order, and uh, there's more actions, of course, like the houses, I guess. And yeah, it's 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 neat. It's n I like to see it. Not only do I like it, I love it. I want some more of it, you know. So right now we're in a decent spot. We got nine families in, so we're we're back to where we should have been originally. And we got another house going to go in soonish. That should help our production quite a bit. Because I don't think we have anybody doing carpentry, do we? No. We don't have anybody looking for a job. Well, one woman looking for a job now. But they could do so few things in the game. I kind of restrict them to, you know, doing market stuff only. I don't think we're going to be able to plant anything. But let's, let's go ahead and plan our... Uh, our fields out so typically I would want previously I would want four fields where they would rotate three crops and have one fallow every season but I don't know anymore just because I mean it I'm not sure with can we plant the new crops I don't know you know I just don't know we're going to do 50 by 50 areas. Let's see. One more that way. Boom. So there's one field. And I wish you could say, okay, I want to, I want to build off of this one and just make it square. Now, there might be a way to do that. I don't know. Maybe like hold down, hold down shift or something. And it squares it, but I, I don't think so. So a lot of the times I've run into the problem of where I think it looks straight, but it's not quite, and it messes it up at the, the other end here. So let's try this out. Now that looks straight to me, to my eye. But we're going to see if it is now. It's not. not I mean, it's close. It's close enough. This one maybe could have come back this way a little bit. There's two fields. Let's put a couple more over here. I would, I'd like to have different shaped fields, but I like to maximize the area as well. So, yeah, there is one looking for a job. And we'll see what kind of plants we can, we can do. It's still the same. It's still the same in the farm. Wheat, buckwheat, sunflower, potato, hemp, and fallow. This doesn't seem to have changed any. So I guess the new crops are only in the, their little gardens. 
So it is pretty important to have people with their own with their own gardens. For that reason alone, you know. Uh, let's see. Let's just put uh, all four out here. Try to do it this way. Hopefully, I don't uh, have it too terribly bad. Yeah, it's off a little bit. See, I can't. I can't hook them up. There's going to be a little gap here in the fencing. Was that just? I wish there was an, just an easy way to say I want to link this to this to this to this, and it would just let you do it. You know, I wish that were the case, but it's uh, it's not. It's not, and that's okay. It's not the end of the world, you know. It's not the end of the world. It would just be nice. It would be a nice, again, a, a quality of life improvement. Yeah, see, the, there's just this gap here. You can you can make them connect, but it's just ah, so weird. All right, so we have our manager in, so we can do do this thing, and we're gonna want to set up wheat, potato, and buckwheat and fallow. And then we want to just kind of bring we don't just rotate them around. So we want uh, potato, buckwheat, fallow, and then wheat, buckwheat, fallow. Uh, wheat potato and then finally fallow wheat potato buckwheat now if you're not familiar with how this works um, it's going to use up resources in the ground it's going to use 50 percent of the red resource 60 percent of the green and none of the blue so if i want to rotate my crops and have it you know have the soil at 100 percent before we start the rotation over again i have to kind of take that into consideration and that's where I got my four fields, three crop rotation strategy was looking at this stuff. So let's say if I were to do wheat and sunflower, sunflower takes 100% of the red nutrient to grow. So if I try to grow anything else that takes a red, which almost everything does except for buckwheat, it's not going to be as good because there's not enough nutrients in the ground for it. So the wheat, if I did the sunflower first and did wheat after, the wheat would, would not grow as much. We wouldn't get as much of a harvest, in other words. Uh, so I've come up with a system of wheat, buckwheat, and potato. Because we have 50% and 50% for the red, so that the red's gone after the wheat and potato. Buckwheat takes no red at all. 60 for the green. That's 80% and then 30, that's 110% of the green, but it's barely over it, right? We could probably do hemp, but that takes a little bit of red. I mean, we're 10% over either way we go there. There's, it's a no-win situation. And wheat takes none of the blue. Buckwheat takes 60% and potatoes take none. So basically that's my thing. That's my strategy. And I don't think they're going to be planting anything, so I'm going to fire these girls here. Don't need to pay them for something they can't even do. And we'll fire the manager as well. And a nice little icon there. No manager to handle crop rotation. I like that. But we don't need to worry about it right now because we can't plant them anyway. That's for next season. Now we get our guys working on our cart shed. One thing I want to do as well is do our education. Get our primary school. And that should kind of be really at the epicenter of the, the town. So I'm thinking down here. Sort of facing the water near the market. I think we do that. Actually, we might actually make this an... Uh, 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 Sort of like these buildings here, where we put a fence around them and kind of decorate it a little bit. We might do that here. We might do that here. We have our school. Our school 
perhaps over in this area. Maybe right here. And we can put a fence around it and put some trees and some bunch of benches and all kinds of cool stuff. So we'll worry about, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But that's what I'm thinking right now. All right, they are working on this cart shed. We need a lot more wood and a few more nails. How are the nails coming along there, buddy? We have 248. We have plenty of nails. I'm going to speed up time a little bit because I want to check this cart shed out. I want to get it done and see what that thing's all about, man. So this is the exciting part of the new update is checking out all the new buildings. And we have uh, the salt works. I think that was it. The lime works, lime kiln, stone mining camp, they all came in the last big update. Let's see. Yeah, salt works right there. We'll see what that's all about. We're going to need a windmill soon in the farm area. So I think that's going to go back here, perhaps. And we're also going to want to start to produce some hay. Let's bring that over this way as well. Some hay dryers maybe way over here. I don't know. There's no really great place to put the hay dryers, to be honest. They're just always in the way. Let's put them out here. Hay dryer there. Hay dryer there. There, and can we squeeze another one in there? Perfect. And then we're going to want places to store them. In the hay barrack. Which I think we'll just put over here by the farm. Yeah, we'll just we'll just drop them in over here. That way, eventually, when we get some uh, some cattle, we're gonna be prepared. We're gonna have all the hay we ever needed, and not have to try to rush and get it done right away. How are we looking on fish now? Looking really really good on fish now. Absolutely. And the cart shed is complete, so let's check this out. So we need one, two, three, four, five carts. Supply for construction, regular deliveries, and special deliveries. Yeah. And we're not going to hire anybody until we get some carts. <laughs> and we may have to pull somebody from construction for now to do carpentry. Oh, the original, the old, uh, was he the old carpenter? I think it was. that we, we pulled him from carpentry, made him be a boat builder, then he was a fisherman. Now he's, now he's back to being a carpenter. I think that's the same guy. <laughs> awesome. Well, let's check this out. I should have been watching it build, but I did, I did not. Check this guy out. So they have an entrance here. And I guess this is where the carts go. I don't know what this is all about. This side over here may be a little, a little barracks for them to kind of sleep in or rest in or hang out in or whatever they want to do. Drink some vodka. Tell some stories about their last delivery and, you know, the crazy people they ran into. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. All right, we also need our, oh, construction office. I forgot that that was a thing. Okay, construction office allows you to hire additional builders. Okay. We need the town hall, but that I forgot about that. We're going to have to do that at some point very soon. So let's get the town hall over here. Maybe, hmm, where should it be? Maybe the town hall goes where I originally thought the school would go. Now it should be right in the center, so we should have the town hall like right in the middle of everything, I believe. Facing out here. Yeah, and then we'll have like a little, maybe we'll have another marketplace around here. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. We'll figure it out as we go. We'll drop it right there for now. Okay.
And we have two carts here, so let's let's hire some workers. I don't think we're gonna have any workers, but we got carts. Uh, they're working on the granary. Excellent. We'll see if these guys actually get to sell some of their stuff. Oh, raspberries. That's what these are. So they've got they they planted onions and raspberries. They have a lot of raspberries. <laughs> these guys have almost a thousand heads of cabbage. That's that's quite a few cabbage. These guys do have over a thousand carrots. Okie doke. <laughs> oh, they did cucumbers. These guys did onions and cabbages. And these guys produce a lot of crops, man. They produce a lot. So what if we uh, what if we set up a market that has cabbage? Carrot, onion, and raspberries, and just put somebody in there. Are they gonna buy it from these people to supply it? I'm curious about how this is gonna go. Is how she gonna get this stuff? Does she go and buy it from these guys? Hmm. I'm still gonna go back to I think it would be better if if the if you could build a special type of market stall like a, a personal market stall or something like that a family stall or whatever and you could build it somewhere and you click it just like you do you know the farm where you can link fields to it or the um, uh, cow shed you can link a fallow field to it Click on the market thing, it says link to house up here somewhere or down here. And you just click the house. And that becomes that family's market. I think that would be cool. All right, we have our granary, so I'm gonna pause it for a second. I, th I think this is how they can sell their stuff. So we need, uh, we're gonna do beetroot, buckwheat, cabbage, carrot, cucumber, uh, flour, Onions, potatoes. Oh man, we're running out of room already. Wheat and raspberries. Okay. Buy from local producers. Yes. Okay, so that's how they do it. All right, and we're gonna do like no limit. <laughs> Actually, I think we have to have a limit now, right? Let's do five thousand. I don't know what the limit is now. And then we're gonna do labor by cart hands. Carter can do it. Wagon can do it. And then hire hire anybody. I don't care who works there, but I don't. We'll we'll put a worker in there. Oh my gosh, she's going and buying all the stuff. And then. This person here is going to be able to go grab it, right? Yeah, she's going right now. She's selling the garden produce. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. And then these guys made so much money, right? Yeah, they're they're super rich. <laughs> oh. Man, that is awesome. Okay. Yeah, people are buying it up, so that's going to spread it around the community. We're going to need another one over here somewhere. So what do you have? We had uh, cabbage, carrot, uh, raspberry, and what else? Cucumber? I guess, right? Is that what the other one was? Onions. Ah, yeah, onion. You know what? We'll sell cucumber over here, not onion. Yeah. And we'll get a worker and bada bing, bada boom. So now, you know, everybody should be able to go out and buy. Yeah, these guys have 10 onions. These guys are getting some cabbage. 
cabbage and this is awesome this is amazing that is amazing I love it actually we could take one fish out of here and do which one does this not have cucumber we'll do cucumber here where's the fish and we'll do onion here excellent and now we're needing this other house because we're running out of people again even the women folk are running out of them so <laughs> we, we're gonna need some more folks to do stuff you know okay we need a warehouse to store this stuff our excess materials and I think a good place to do the warehouse is right next to the cart park cart shed I keep saying cart park but it's, it's a cart shed apparently or maybe right tucked in right here oh look at that look at that perfect spot for a warehouse that is so perfect right there boom I love it and look at this we have you know and I, this is one thing that I love you can see the individual things here in the market stall there's nothing there it's empty it's not like a generic you know it's a dynamic uh, graphic which is truly astounding it was like this before which means that the you know before he hired on more people the one singular developer did that it's, it's such a small little detail that you know a lot of people won't even notice right they won't even know that this is going on unless you get down here and look at it you know well I'm excited because we're getting some new stuff in. We got a guy working the carts. So he's, what is he doing? He's supplying resources. Awesome. So he can work just like the construction guy. But all he's going to do is supply resources. Which is perfect. That's what we need. We need somebody bringing stuff all the time. Let's follow this guy around. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? Are you getting some more clay? All right. Cool. This is great, a great thing. So the, the constructor doesn't really have to. I mean, they're going to if they need them. But they don't have to get the resources anymore. They can just build the stuff after it's brought over. So this is sort of like a construction supply, you know, delivery service that's pretty awesome if you ask me I know you didn't but I asked myself in my head and then I answered myself and it was as awesome as I thought it was gonna be so there you go <laughs> okay and then in the winter time we can we can fire all the fishermen and have them do construction to get some more stuff done faster in the uh, the winter months that is so cool so it's November they're not gonna plant anything else that is awesome uh, another update uh, another part of this update for Alpha 4 that I m remember reading was they actually are gonna use firewood to heat their homes in wintertime not just to cook meals so it's far more of an important resource than it used to be. I thought they did anyway, but apparently not, according to the patch notes this time around. So, very interesting. I like it a lot. I'm thinking we're going to need some more, some more water action over here some sometime soon. So let's slide this guy in here, and we can't, can right there. So that's perfect. Don't need him for a long time, so this is totally fine with me. If we needed him right away, we could just click and drag him over. But we don't, so not gonna worry about it. Uh, we just basically we just need oh, he's buying food. Why aren't you working, man? <laughs> oh, they because they sold all their stuff. Dude, these people are so rich, man. We're gonna have to up the land tax. <laughs> the only way to do that is to get the uh, the town hall built, which is later on in our line of uh, 
priorities looks like. But then you can mess with the economy, change the taxes, change apparently change the land tax now. You can mess with the, the market prices. Um, there's like a general living wage in the game. You can mess with that up and down. Laborers wage, uh, managers wages, things like that. So that's where the, you really get into the economy part of the game. And it becomes far more interesting. They must have everything they need. So he's supplying resources to the primary school, which is next on the list. Now that is awesome. I really, really like that that they can do that. So while this guy's building, see before it was just the builders, the construction folks who could put supplies in to a place. Now with the cart shed, this guy can. He can just fill up all these uh, queued up buildings with the resources they need to build them. And the construction guys just come in afterwards and, and, and you know, blast it up. That to me is amazing. I really liking that. We're about to see December. We're about to see uh, the weather change. So let's go ahead and let's see. You're buying food. I'm gonna fire you. I'm gonna fire you and get you guys in here. I'm gonna do construction work. And see if we can't get this house built up. And our primary school, so little kiddos. Little kiddos can learn all the stuff that they need to learn to survive in the 1700s, man. I'm surprised there's no, like, uh, hunting lodge or something. Which usually is in, like, a colony sim game. It's like a hunting lodge, fishing lodge, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I like that it's a different, like they're they're doing their own thing with the game. Like it's a very, it's very different than another colony sim that you're going to run into. It's a beautiful game, it's done super well. Attention to the smallest detail, like I said before many times. It's such a good, amazing game. All right, these guys are almost done with this house. It is flying up because we're on times three speed. That is amazing. Hopefully somebody moves in right away. Because we got farming to do next year, next year. And we're going to need a lot of folks to do that farming. <laughs> Alright, so. You know what I think is. Now we still got so much stuff here. What I think is we put a, a couple more houses in. And we kind of dispersed them through our priority queue. Couple more uh, garden houses. So that way. And let's see, let's put these guys. You know what? I, I like the idea of these guys being near the water. You know? A garden on the water. Oh, F1. Almost didn't press F1. Got to do that. Oh, yeah. Click. <laughs> Click. These guys are going to have a big... A big property. Like, this is going to be like the, the rich folks, man. On the, on the river. You know. Having a grand time. Living in their super expensive giant area for their house. It's going to be great. Yeah. That's a huge area for that one house. <laughs> Whoever lives there is going to be so rich from selling all their, their garden stuff. Oh, looks like these guys are doing raspberries now, too. Uh, what do we not have the most of? Uh, cucumbers is probably the least planted crop. Yeah. So good, man. I really, I really, really like this. Really, I do. Um, that's such a nice change 
in the game. And a, and a very interesting way to add new resources to the game, too. I like it a lot. So now we're working on the primary school. Okay, let's check this out. I've never seen this go up, so we're going to slow things down. A little, well, we're on times two speed, that's fine. And I wonder if the prelude is, is pr the, the primary school is actually going to be a prelude to, you know, you need a certain education to do a certain job, perhaps. Um, maybe they'll get basic knowledge at the primary school and then they'll be able to go into a trade in their teens, like they'll take an apprenticeship. That would be cool. So you go for an apprenticeship at the smithy and maybe your production speed is way lower than, a, than an adult smith, but you'd be doing it, right? You'd be learning how to do it better. And then when you take over, maybe based on your smithing education, you know, you'll be able to do it much faster than the other guy, the old, the old fart that retired, you know, <laughs> I don't know. You know, I also wish you could you could click on a building, kind of Guild 3 style, and like look inside. You know, you pop inside the building and see what the interior kind of looks like. That might be a little resource intensive as far as development goes, so, you know, it's not like I'm going to expect something like that, but that would be just a cool little feature. You know? See what the inside of the school looks like. See what the inside of the houses look like. The forestry. You know, the fishing dock. A bunch of rotting fish laying around everywhere, you know. <laughs> It'd be great. Trust me. It'd be awesome. Alright, they're short on nails. Yeah, they have no nails. They're making some now. Making some. Made, made ten. This thing needs 163 to go, so we might hire another guy in here. If we can. We can. Yes, we can. Yeah, we can hire another guy in the smithy to smash out some more nails. That would be nice. Is this guy still going? This guy's still going. What's he doing now? He's uh, supplying resources. Go do you, man. Do what you gotta do. See where he's going. Is he going over here to the windmill? Because that's next. That's after the the primary school. He is. Look at that. That is so cool. That just cuts down on the construction time so much, doesn't it? Oh, I, I imagine it does. I'm assuming that it does. It just makes sense that it does. I must have had a few nails brought over. Looks like some more are coming over. Yep. Ah, uh, as soon as they make the nails, they somebody comes and takes them. They're like, "Oh, we need these." <laughs> oh, looks like they got a little bit of time now because they're doing some clay for the walls. So maybe the nails aren't as needed right immediately. But they're getting some done. Yeah, I am digging this, man. I'm digging all the new stuff. I dig this game in general. You know, uh, city builders, colony sims, you know, that type of stuff has always been one of my favorite genres of game. You know, Banish was great. Ostrov takes it to the next level. In my opinion, even in Alpha, by far the best colony sim out there, colony management sim out there. By far, not even close. For all the little detail that's put in there, you know, obviously it's not a finished game, no. It could use a lot of improvements and a lot of tweaks and a lot of work. Really needs to go into it, but I think even at this stage, it blows everything else out of the water. So, you know, that's my take on it. You know, let me know what your opinion is down below in the comments section. 
let me know if you know you've got your own favorite you know that you're never going to give up on or if you agree or disagree for different reasons you know what do you think let me know as i really do i i am interested in hearing you know different opinions different perspectives you know not just my own but uh you know, for my for my uh, for my money, this is it. You know, I'd bet on this game to be the best colony sim, colony management game to this point. You know, once they get closer to being complete, I think it's just going to take off like a rocket. It's going to blow everybody away. I'm looking forward to that day because I mean, we're still in alpha. We're not even in beta yet. Just imagine what else is coming. I mean, we have zero health. No health stuff. One education building so far. Uh, you know, a few trade and transport things, but not a whole lot. We've got, you know, just two water things. One type of house. Well, two now, I guess. But it's the same house. It's just one has a garden, one doesn't. Um... Up until this update, we only had one government build building, the town hall. Uh, the construction office wasn't even a thing. And no health. Uh, up until, uh, I think, maybe two, three, four updates ago? I don't know. Oh, you only had the burial plot. You didn't have the small chapel or the church. You know, so, I mean, it's coming along, man. It's come a long way come a very long way from where it started and it can only go up from here so I'm super excited for the future we're gonna watch this school get done here it's getting there look at this oh yeah throw those beams up there boys just heft them up there <laughs> There you go. But what I was getting at is this will be a little bit of a shorter video this time. Not as much time to just sit here and uh, and flap about with this game today. Uh, but this is not going to go away anytime soon. I'm going to continue this until we've seen all the new stuff at the very least. And uh, see where it goes from there. Because I've really wanted to make a series out of this, this game in the past. Several different times. I've thought, of, man, I really need to start making videos on this. Cause it's so good it's so good i know there's other videos out there i just, i just enjoy it i like making videos and stuff so hopefully you enjoy watching this with me and taking in all the new stuff all right here we go and jedediah coming back in for the home stretch oh putting up some paneling He's a very strong man. Just throws that stuff up there like it's nothing. <laughs> All right. What's it going to look like when it's done? What is he building? Oh, he's putting in, you know, more framework. More supports. I like it. Look at that. Looks like a proper roof being constructed, you know? It just that that type of little detail stuff just blows me away about this game. It really does. All right, here we go. We got to be getting close now, right? There's still a big pile of wood there. 5500 planks. <laughs> it's a lot. Oh, come on, guys. We only got two dudes, I think, right now. Yep, on construction duty. Nobody's looking for work, so. Oh, they were in March. We need to hire back these guys. Oh, <laughs> we need to hire a guy here. So, oh, and we need, oh, crap. <laughs> I was so stuck on watching this go up that I forgot about our farm. Luckily, they're just planting it anyway. <laughs> We're going to get more people in there. 
Oh my goodness, I forgot all about this stuff. You know, we got nobody fishing. So we still have some fish in this in this uh, in the shops. So that's good at least. Okay. This guy's still doing resource delivery. Cool. Taking a rest. Where do you live at, man? Where do you live? Okay, so he's over here. All right, sorry about that huge cut there, but my neighbor decided, hey, I'm gonna fire up this car that has no muffler. Well, to be fair, None of my neighbor's cars or his kids' cars have mufflers on them, I don't think. So, and that was going to, that, ra you know, brain rattling sound was going to drown out everything uh, around me. So, I went ahead and paused it and waited it out. So, here we go. Didn't really miss anything, because I did pause. But, uh, yeah, so they're, uh, they're farming don't have many laborers to do anything because we're very, really short-handed right now. But Jedediah, back at it. He's got all the resources he needs. He just has to put it all together. Like a big old jigsaw puzzle. There he goes, there he goes. Now he's putting stuff up. Okay, okay. Doing some aesthetic work. I like it. Oh, now he's going to take a break. Crap. <laughs> we need you, Jedediah. We need you. Uh, we got a few more people working here now. That's good. We need uh, the stuff to be sewn before too long. Still got nobody over here and one guy here. So what's he doing? Taking a rest. Uh, can you maybe uh, repair the boats? Actually, they don't really need repaired yet. So fire you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just let Jedediah work on this by himself. It's fine. Here we go, man. He's getting close. He's got to be getting close by now. Oh, Jedediah, no. <laughs> keep keep working, man. Oh, keep working. Okay. You know, we might have not even needed a farm. With these people growing their own food, and, and we can sell it on the market, why do we need a farm? You know, we've got tons of stuff here. Tons of stuff here. I don't know, but we're doing it anyway. And that's fine. Oh, here, here he goes, here he goes. Oh, man, I, I always catch him right at the end. He's taking a break. Come on, man. Taking a rest, taking a rest. Sitting on a bench. All right, three, two, one, go. There you go. Going to the construction site. There you go, buddy. You can do it. Look at that. Oh. oh, it's almost done. Don't take a break now, dude. Come on. Don't do it. Oh. <laughs> Drinking water. Yep, yep, yep. Taking a rest. Yep. You know, that's their bench, dude. That's their bench, not yours. Your bench is over here. That's your bench over here. Right, is he back? Is he back? Yep, yep, yep. Are you done? Are you done? Oh, so good. Okay, so a teacher. Going to open up the vacancy for a teacher. Maybe that'll be a, an old, a good old school marm. 
<laughs> and we have one guy working here now. This is not good. We don't have enough people, man. Not even close to enough people. Crapola. All right. Well, I think that's going to call it for now. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Joining me at the channel. I am Lothans. You are you. We are we. We're having a good time here. Watching the good stuff. Oh, we got a windmill now too. Okay. <laughs> so once again, thank you so much for your valuable time spending it here with me. If you like what you saw, I'm not going to say it. You know what to do. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.